so in this one we are looking at uh, updating the data here as we go for every uh, row so let me go uh, into our text editor so we are here in the post.php the one that contains a single post all right so since we're including this one in the p uh, ph uh, the profile.php sorry where we are doing the inclusion is down here right here we are including post.php so it means every time i loop and include it row contains the data for that particular row so we can simply use row in here and assume it exists so in order to do that let's look at the data that needs changing for example we need to change the name of uh, this particular user now you know uh, for a fact that the po a post can have has, has only the user ID in here it doesn't have the actual name of the person so we have to be able to retrieve this particular name so in order to do that we could create a class that really does just that but we already have a user class so we can simply multi add an extra function so let me get the user class from the classes folder and let me drag it here so as you can see the user class only has one function which is get data but we can add an extra function which is uh, get user so let me just say public function let me zoom in a little bit get user okay so we'll be supplied an id here a user id and then it gets the rest of the row from the user so this is a pretty straightforward thing to do first of all we just get our db is equal to a new database so i'm sure by now this has become routine so that uh, it's easy to understand and then we need a result to capture the result so we're going to say result is equal to db uh, read that's the function we added and then we're going to give our query in there so what is our query so let's create our query up here and say query is equal to so we can say select because we are selecting all columns from users where user id is equal to this id that we've been supplied eh, limit one all right so if we get a result we're going to say if result if result so we check is there a result oh i forgot the brackets so if we have a result uh, return the result to the requester as simple as that easy peasy else we're going to return uh, false to signify that we couldn't find any uh, the user for this one right so very simple and straightforward create a query uh, instantiate the database class get a result from the query if we have a result return the result if not actually because the uh, database is going to return an array this result is going to be an array of rows so we just want the first one like that so that's what we do and that's pretty much it so get user is our guy right there so let me come back to profile.php right here so row contains the the particular row but we also want one variable that contains the user so i'm going to say uh, because we've already used the variable user so let's use something else we're going to say user data no actually user data is being used as well so we have to be very careful with these uh, uh, 
this variable. So I'm going to call it raw user is equal to. Now, in order to do that, to do this, we have to create uh, instantiate the user class. So we won't rely on the fact that we've already done that at the top here because actually we have, we've said new user, but we won't rely on that uh, just in case something went wrong up there. So we don't want to get an error. So let's just do it again. We say user is equal to new user and then raw user is equal to the user class with the function, we call the function get user i hope that's what we called it is it yep get user and we pass in the id so get user and then we give it uh, the id of the user so i'm very sure the user id is user or what we could do is we can simply get it from the row because this could be somebody else's post so it's a row uh, user id so the user ID in this row, we capture it and put it there. Then we get the row user. So there are two variables now here, row user and row. So now to keep it uh, consistent, I'm going to change row into capital letters to show it that it contains uh, important data. So I'm going to use this one also, row user, like that. So it's up to you. You can do this or not. Uh, just shows that this is important data and also because these are capital letters just in case I have used this before I won't have any collisions before this point I want to variate any new variables. So now this posted PHP at this point will be privied to this Information it will have row and row user which we can use. So let me go to posted PHP this one the one that contains the HTML so I know now that uh, row, for example, if I want to get the text, this is the text right here for the uh, for the post. So I only need to delete this one because I don't need it. I just know that it's supposed to be here. So I'll use PHP at this point and say PHP. Oh, what have I done? I'm going to say question mark PHP and echo. Okay, and then close it like that before I forget. So what I want to echo is the user data, uh, raw data, for example. I'm going to say raw, remember it's in capital letters, uh, post. Now I'm using post here because that's the column that contains the data that I want for the post. If I go to my database, you see post is the column. So that's where it is right there. So echo the post. So just that, let's see if it changes anything before we go any further. So as you can see, the posts are now different. This is my third post. This is my second. This is my first post. So as you can see before, because we use the ordering of descending, uh, they are coming in descending order. Pretty cool. Now, what else do we need to change? We need to change the name. So we already have the name from the raw uh, user which is this one, row user. So let me copy that, come back in here, and post there, there we go. So the username is right here, first guy. So we replace that with the PHP script. So we add our tags and we say echo. Row user, we want the first name, underscore name, like so. And then we join the second name. So if you want to see better, we can scroll, we can do this here, lower it a bit. And then let me copy this and just convert it to last name. So I'll put the dot to concatenate and I'll put a space as usual. Inverted commas with a space and semicolon at the end and then close the PHP tags. So here I'll use last name. And it's that simple when I refresh. So there's the name, there's the name, there's the name. Okay, so these are the posts right here. Now the image here, because we don't really have a profile image for this user, so we'll put a placeholder. Now to do that, let me go to, uh, 
where is this in my folder here I'm going to uh, I have two images here so the link to these images will be in the description if you want them or you can simply Google uh, the ones you want to use as placeholders for users that don't have a profile image yet so to be organized I'll create an image folder okay and then copy these guys in there okay so the video has gone on long enough so we are going to continue uh, in the next video